Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Here's the rules to my Nuzlite run. Pause the video if you gotta read them. Boop! And welcome to Tim Friend. Hooray! It's a whole new, brand new Pokemon adventure. At least brand new for the show. Uh, today, we are beginning a Nuzlocke run in Pokemon Blaze Black 2. I know it doesn't say Blaze Black, it just says Black version 2, but trust me, it's it's Blaze Black 2. Uh, Kyurem goes meh. Uh, Blaze Black 2 is a, a, a ROM hack, I believe would be the correct term. It is it is an, a mod, an alteration of Pokemon Black 2. Uh, See, Blaze Black 2 or Pokemon Volt White 2. Might be seen, Professor Juniper, but this is Dre, Draino 60. So Draino, uh, no relation to the cleaning product, uh, is a fairly prolific uh, ROM hacker of Pokemon games who makes sort of remixes of baseline uh, Pokemon games from, from, like, I think from Ruby and Sapphire up to, uh, I think, Black black and white 2 in original Pokemon chronology uh, though he did them in a, in a strange order his most recent one is Renegade Platinum which I would play but I just fucking did Platinum I'm not going to do it again uh, this one is one of his more early works we've also played Pokemon Storm Silver on the site which went pretty fucking poorly uh, Drano, Drano is uh, like these, these remixes make the Pokemon games harder uh and more interesting so like he there's there's two sort of fundamental changes one uh is you can get every pokemon in the pokedex before you hit the elite four uh and that's cool you get to see a ton of fucking pokemon there's massive variety for uh for a nuzlocke run uh and two is the the trainers are more challenging uh sub changes to this are level curve improvements uh which is nice especially for storm silver i I kind of want to go back and play that one on my own time, just because the level curve improvements are such a fucking necessity for playing Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, but uh, we will be able to see that in this game as well. Uh, the, our ending levels will be much higher. Uh, we, he has also rebounced some Pokemon. Uh, as, as I skimmed through the PDF, uh, I definitely saw that Butterfree and uh, Beedrill and Pidgeot have all received uh, moderate to substantial stat buffs uh, as well as moveset changes. Uh, but it's never to like make a Pokemon feel like bananas overpowered, though definitely some Pokemon will feel bananas overpowered. But the game is hard enough and since we're playing it in a Nuzlocke, uh, it will still, we still probably won't get through this one. I'm gonna be real with you. This is gonna be real challenging. And uh, I'm starting this at uh, 10.45 at night. I'm I'm sleepy peepy. I'm ready ready to ready to not have be not have be thinking this hard, but here I am. Okay, so this, this is Drano. This is it's the creator of the rob. He's having a little chat with us. Yay! It's, probably know the basics of this hack. Look at new wild encounters, more challenging game, extra boost to many we we Pokemon other features. Unova region is the same at its core, but you can experience it a whole new way. Documentation is as given. We've got it. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Great. May it be an entertaining experience. Uh, what gender will you be playing as? Not not what are you, but what will you be playing as? That's a cute thing to do. Uh, we're going to be the girl. She's a little cutie with the big old Princess Leia buns. Her head buns are like as big as her head. The hair buns. <laughs> you maniac. Uh, her name will be... Let's call me... Tim Friend. That's That's pretty much standard. It's... Don't worry. We'll get into the weird names once we hit the Pokemon. God, this... That's... That UI sucks. I am used to hitting... Oh, we can't. We don't have enough... Enough... Uh... Well, let's... Let's call myself Timbly. Yeah, that's a cute old name. I'm Timbly. My name is Timbly. Yeah, I like it. It's good to know. Yes. Oh, uh, who's this older boy who lives nearby? Uh, his name... Is not Hugh. But I do... Uh... Ooh, what? Who's my rival? Who's who's my who's my dark and brooding rival? Um, I would have to say, uh, self-esteem would probably be my biggest uh, like anxiety. Oh my god, I'm naming my rival anxiety. That's an incredible. I feel like a genius for doing this, though someone's probably done it before. Holy shit. 
Is is Pokemon therapy? It's possible. I def will defeat anxiety many times during this game. A fan's version of a tougher Unova. It's springtime. It knows, because it's spring in the real life. This may affect what Pokemon uh, I can get. There's something to do with getting like the, the other game starters uh, partway through this game. I think that's that's kind of cool, but it is sort of um, uh, p -p -p locked by season, which I think is kind of kind of goofed. I mean, I don't want to fucking go in and change the date and the time on the game. It's, it's dumb and boring. Uh, it's, it's just not not interesting, and since I don't remember it, it's not in the spirit of the Nuzlocke to go and change to, to see what I could get. Unless I, like, rolled a die, a D4 or D3 or whatever it is. No, it'd be D4, because of now there's four seasons. Um, I would do that and, like, see which one I got and then change it to the appropriate thing, but fuck it. It's, it's as though we rolled the same number for all of them. Oh, oh it, that's my mom's, and she's on the phone with, with Juniper, and it's really hard to render that in these small-ass pixels, but... It is. That, that was a cute little animation of her hand moving. She's got a wiggly wild haircut. I'm loving it, Mom. Fucking, you rock that shit. Look at the one of the more weirder houses that you are in in Pokemon. Uh, this is my room. It's sort of a, an open open floor plan house. Uh, I have a room. Mom doesn't. Uh, though, I like to think of it as... Uh, because there's a lot of people who's like, <laughs> where does mom sleep? Stuff like that. Where, where does anyone sleep in these fucking games? <laughs> All these houses are garbage. Well, okay. So, uh, what if this game is, uh, is, is viewed through the filter of you being a child? And, like, from in your house, your main concerns are your room and, like, dining table and, like, the, the the entertainment area I got a, got a cool I got a Wii console it's got a Wii remote isn't that cool yeah so like I'm not fucking not seeing my parents house because that's not really a part of my conception because I'm a dumb little kid oh look it's anxiety <laughs> you got a Pokemon yet oh geez <laughs> this is too real already oh anxiety's sister what a what a bummer of a family to be in <laughs> anxiety's my older brother a person I can trust oh. But it's, why, why am I the person you trust? That's, that's very nice. All right, let's go find that person named Bianca. So we get to fucking endure. Uh, one of the things that has not been changed much about this game is like scripting events. So like we still do have to wander through this tutorial under our own power. Uh, whereas in Pokemon Storm Silver, there was definitely like a, a little bit of a speed of magoosums to it. Welcome, welcome, I'm the key bear. Last key may appear odd if you're not for it works. What the fuck is happening? Easy mode? Uh, great. That's not what I want. What What is happening? I don't want to turn it on easy. I got, it can now be selected. Great. Yes, I'm not going to do that. We're not going to play on easy mode. What am I, a coward? No. This blaze black. A uh, challenge mode. Okay. So it's just if you want to play it in the easy mode or challenge mode, I guess. I don't know why that would be important at all to have in this game, in this ROM hack, but I, I'm not a ROM hackier. I don't know what the requirements are. I don't know what the what the dingly dops would be. Uh, so maybe it is important. Black, oh God, we're gonna see the Black City little animation go through and the White Forest animation. That key looked like trash. I liked the color, but right up around that grip, that looked pretty garbage. Yep. And so I depart. Enjoy your new challenges. Great. Thank you very much. I have to change some options. Where is the text speed? Set it to fast. Uh, we will view move animations because it's more interesting. Battle style is set. Uh, save before I... Sure. Whatever. We're not going to be using fucking infrared. I'm definitely playing this in a legal way instead of an illegal way. But you don't got to worry about that. Look at this fucking frame rate dip as we go up the steps. Ah, uh, that 3DS just fucking rolling as hard as it can. Ugh. Yeah, here's Bianca. What something I like about uh, Black and White too, uh, I think it's a nifty little thing, is that instead of going for like uh, Pokemon Crystal or Emerald or Platinum, where it's the same story but remixed, uh, Black and White Two are sequels. Like they're they're they take place after the original games, and that's that's wild to me. Uh, so you get to see like your friends from the first game 
like where they go after that first game. Like what happens to them? And that's wild to me. Oh, little, little, little Bianca is cute. Oh, it makes me happy. Okay, our first choice, our first thing to do that we will wrap up the episode with. Uh, I gotta, I need a fucking D6, criminy jackets. Ugh. Okay, where is, where it is? Uh, got my dice in a big old bag behind me because I'm a big nerd like that. I take my dice wherever I go. It's not true. This isn't, this doesn't fucking function. I got a six-sided die, but it's a ding dang like, bespoke Magic the Gathering six-sided die with no numbers on it. Ugh. All right. Now, I got a regular six-sided die. We got one and two. That's a Snivy. Uh, three and four. That's a Ted Pig. Five and six. That's Oshawott. Here we go. Ba-bam. On the fucking floor. On the table this time. It's the only way it counts. Three. We get Ted Pig. All right. I'm down for Ted Pig. Ted Pig's a little cutie. Look at his little face. <laughs> Look at his little goofy face. Timbley chose Tepig. You know I did. Tepig's the best. Tepig's not the best. I, I'm definitely much more of a, a superior uh, man with the Snivy, but uh, I am down for a Tepig. I think Ambor is pretty cool as well. Uh, what? Should should we even have a naming scheme? No. I always make my, my Pokemon's names fucking random ass gibberish when I'm doing doing the Nuzlocks for the for the Tim friends. So what's Tepig's name? Tepig's name is uh, let's see. My last starter's name was Prombus. Uh, Prom no, Prombus. Wow, how quickly we forget, huh? Uh, so this one's name is uh, more. No, is is uh, is Mist. It's Mister Man. Two ends. It's Mister Man. Yeah, that's the nickname I want. It's Mister Man. It's such a great name. Oh. I like how she adjusts her hat. It's fucking kawaii as hell. Yeah, I got a Pokedex. It's, it's a high-tech device. Yada, yada, yada. Great, great, great. That Professor Juniper. Blah, blah, blah. Great. Why? Okay. Next time on Tim Friend, uh, it's time for a brand new Pokemon adventure. I hope you have a nice day. And uh, tomorrow, uh, I will as well. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Wah, 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 wah,